Alright. <clears throat> What's up, YouTube? Back with another one. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we're gonna hop into this Quando Rondo. He actually dropped the tape, so I'm thinking about doing the whole thing. Um, yeah. Depending on how this song go, because I'm about to check out Imperfect Flower. Get this mug hard. I'm probably gonna check out the whole tape. Um, yeah. So that's how that go. And comment down below. Y'all want me to check out something else? I know I'm gonna check out that uh, four times by Stunning for Vegas. I know he dropped the album. If he got everything on YouTube, I'm probably gonna do his too. So yeah, you know what I seen though? I seen um, I seen this uh, Drake right? I seen Drake uh, on Instagram and. He got like his own jet. Like he just made his own jet. That mug is crazy, bro. Like that's so much motivation. That's like, I don't know. Let's hop into it, but Imperfect Flower, I feel like, oh, if you don't know, if you knew, I like to talk about the title before I start actually watching the video. So Imperfect Flower, I feel like, He's going to be talking about himself, um, either growing up, things he did, things he's been through, um, or it could be someone else. Him talking about just how, I guess, we all not perfect, I guess. <clears throat> but it's Quando Rondo, so you never know what to expect. He could be talking about a lot of different stuff. Um, I feel like, I guess, his label make him versatile because I remember watching a clip with him him saying like if the label want me to make a song I'm gonna make it cause they gonna pay me I remember watching that so I mean let's get into it bro alright he said Sunshine come with rainy days. Coding take the pain away. So I feel like what he mean by that? Sunshine come with rainy days. I feel like you gon' you gotta take the good with the bad. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take the good with the bad. And that just meaning like in life in general. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, whatever you do, just know, like, it ain't finna be perfect. It ain't finna come out. And it's finna go crazy. Yeah. Or just, just know that. Just because you grew up on the hood don't, don't mean everything will be bad. You know what I'm saying? Or could be bad. Or will be bad. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta go hang, hang with them guys that's toting guns and doing this and that in the streets. You can actually do some social media stuff nowadays and actually be successful. Or you could, you know what I'm saying, flip a lot of stuff and be successful. It's a lot of ways to do stuff now. You know what I'm saying? We have the internet. You know what I'm saying? Take advantage. So, I feel like that's deeper than what he even think properly. I feel like he, talk, he, he talking about somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Perfect flower. It looks like he was in a church. He had a flower in his hand. I guess that kind of went with the title and the meaning of the song. But I'm thinking like somebody died or whatever the case. One of his homies wanted somebody close to him. And he just brought them a flower. You know what I'm saying? To the church. And I'm guessing he's going to see their uh, tombstone. Hopefully. I think that's how you say that. Not tombstone. I don't know. Hopefully. That's how you say it. I just woke up. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's, that's what it is. That's what the case is. He's talking about uh, somebody else, a friend or brother or somebody. <sighs> so he just kind of, he just kind of, I hate when rappers do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, people don't know, but rappers be damn near telling on yourself and shit, dog. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, you, why would you, all right, you in the streets or whatever, right? I get it, you a storyteller, you a rapper, and this, this, that, right? But... Didn't have to say. 
you know this girl not in my title for my life. She hit on me. She know that niggas want me to hate a stack. I ain't gonna cap. I'm trying to give me a Smith & Weston. I'm trying to give me a Smith & Weston. Uh, this, it's, I know it's Eagle Force, Smith & Weston, something. But I'm trying to give me one, for real. I think it costs like 120 I think. I think I might buy them up. I'm still looking up stuff right now, but you know what I'm saying? Just wait. But, uh, <laughs> um... What I was gonna say. Oh, I feel like Quando Rondo and everybody else from the hood then been through a lot, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like Quando Rondo been grinding, bro. Like I respect the grind, man. I remember seeing him I think it was like thirty thousand on Instagram, right? Thirty, forty thousand on Instagram. And him being with NBA, I mean his following would just go up by just him being at the show, I think. Just being in videos and stuff, and just grinding too, you know what I'm saying? Because he was doing this thing on World Star and stuff, and he was like putting putting work out. So I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, wrap us up and cover rappers. That's the blueprint, you know what I'm saying? Do stuff on your own, on your own stuff on YouTube and iTunes, and get all the other stuff going. As soon as World Star hit you up, go ahead and pop off with them, you know what I'm saying? Start doing like five, six videos a month with them, you know what I'm saying? With World Star. Then after you do that, you still working your own stuff. You keep putting out tapes, you know what I'm saying? They ain't albums, they tapes, you know what I'm saying? And you keep going crazy, you keep going crazy. You don't got to go to a major label, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to go to a major label. You can do that shit your own self. You can go on your own masters. But that's how you make that real money, you know what I'm saying? By not going to the label, and you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can go to the label, but don't go and sign your goddamn rights away. Don't go... Don't go do a fucking 360 deal like fucking Blueface and shit. Like, nah, that's not that's not what's up. You know what I'm saying? You come from not you come from nothing, and you sign a 360 deal. Yeah, you probably still got money, but just imagine if you were on your masters and what you putting out. Just imagine how much money you could get. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, Nipsey was giving a blueprint, bro. I was in a video banging, they was throwing up sets for real. <laughs> but <clears throat> I think he moved out of his own his own city, bro. I think so. Hopefully, I don't know why rappers be going back to their own city. Like people that's gonna grow up and what the next up and coming rapper gonna say? Oh, you not from here no more. You can't come back. This this man like. I don't eat, and then again, I don't even know why people be be banning their own people from their own city. Like, if they can make it out, you can make it out too. And if it ain't about making it out, then damn, what the, what? Why are you living, bro? Like, you want you want you want that person to eat noodles and noodles every day for the rest of their life? Like, they didn't start doing something with themselves and trying to do better for themselves, you know. It's kind of crazy out of there. I know when you love someone. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Shout out to Quando Rondo, man. I got to listen to the tape. I don't even know why I'm not subscribed yet, but... I'm going to check out the tape, but I know I got to go check out the Stunner for Vegas real quick. Um, And I don't know if I'm going to do the whole tape today. I might do like half today and then half tomorrow or a couple today, a couple tomorrow, a couple after that. You know what I'm saying? Just depending on how, how I'm feeling at the time. But uh, that's pretty much it for Quando Rondo, bro. Imperfect Flower. Um, yeah, man, it was a great song. I messed with it hard. Like, sonically, it's definitely improved vibes. And I feel like he kind of got into a different bag with the hook. Like he's singing or whatever the case, like that, that little vibe. This right here. That right there. Like, that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? That go hard. But uh, shout out to Quando Rondo and his team. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully the tape does well. Um, I don't know if he can. He considers his stuff albums. I think so. Yeah, I think he do. Uh, I think this was his third or fourth album. Rubber grinding. You know what I'm saying? Rubber grinding. Uh, keep it up. Keep grinding. 
I know Gunpowder on there, so I don't have to check that one out because I already heard that one. So I do want to check out the one with no cap. I, I seen no cap on there. Who else I seen on there? Uh, stay it. Who else I seen on there? I think it was probably like two, three more features. It wasn't that. It was twelve songs and like only four features on there. So he went by himself this time. That's hard. But yeah, we out of here. You know what I'm saying? Cause my mama. And subscribe I don't know what are you waiting for I don't know if you're waiting for me to just gain a hundred billion K I don't know what I just said but <laughs>